Who doesn't love Golden Age comics? Good thing I do, otherwise I wouldn't be showing this. Hello, Internet. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And we got ourselves some Golden Age goodies for you to show. Well, one goodie. And uh, in typical form, there is no box. That seems to be the norm on eBay these days, regardless of how many times you message sellers. But if it ends up in good condition, or at least in the condition I bought it in, then I will be fine. Uh, this is a... Not a key issue, but an early issue from a character I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, this is the earliest one I have of this book. So let's get into it. So they did put some protection. I mean, I don't know how much protection folded backing boards will provide, but I guess we'll find out. All right. And the good part is when they put those, I can actually utilize those. How many people do that when you get the packaging and the, um, the extra backing boards? Do you actually save them or throw them out? I always save them because, I mean, hey, you save a tree this way. All right, so here is the book that I have to share with you. Golden Age book, and for the price I got for it, definitely couldn't complain. And if you have um, no Golden Age books in your um, comic book collection, I highly recommend you get them. But be warned, it will be addicting. So here we go. Now, this one, as you can see, is not in the greatest condition, but you know what? I, uh, that's why I named my channel We Love Comics. It's not We Love Pristine Comics. I mean, of course, would I love to have this in a, like an 8.5 or 9.0? Of course, but uh, I don't have thousands and upon thousands of dollars it would take to have that. And I'm one of those people where something is better than nothing, so I just love just having the comic. I mean, this is something that was created before I was ever born. I mean, this comic came out in 1947. Uh, this is Plastic Man issue number 7. So this is a very early age plastic man. Um, this one definitely could benefit from a dry cleaning because as you can see, there is a lot of foxing along this comic. But the good thing is, as far as they told me, and of course I will have to take it out and inspect it, but the uh, staples are intact. Everything is in there. No cut uh, coupons or anything. So uh, the, a dry cleaning and a pressing would absolutely help this book. I mean, you see there's some minor right along here where there's some breaks but other than that i mean you look at the top of the book for a, for a book from the 40s i mean i can't really complain about that so uh, again to me condition i would love a nicer grade but hey you know what something's better than nothing so let me know in the comment section are you one of those people that absolutely has to have the highest grade possible or are you like me where something is always better than nothing especially if it's a good deal because with shipping and handling, I paid only $41.40 for this book. So to get such an old book, such an early issue, for under $50, and that, of course, includes shipping and handling, I mean, how do you go wrong? So let me know if you thought this was a good um, good purchase or you would pass, you would have passed it up for that price. So um, And as usual, don't forget to wait until the end of each video to see if you are the surprise subscriber shout-out. And if you want to be one of the people that gets a shout-out, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave some comments. And eventually I'll get to the point where even people that don't leave comments, I'll give them a shout-out so it's not a requirement. But it will get you faster if you do leave comments. So that's it. So don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the share button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Just don't hit the person next to you because we know that's not a nice thing to do. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. I wonder if he's his own condom.